as you move away from the flooded water's edge into the islands it's incredibly dry and this is where we found a leopard that we haven't seen for for quite some time we assumed that he had been pushed out by other males coming into the area and it is really nice to see him back in the heart of his own territory He was perched right up in an ebony tree, watching some parlor. August and September are months where the impalas seem to wander from ebony tree to ebony tree, picking up the fruit that has fallen. And leopards often just get up into these ebony trees and sit and wait. Over some time, the herd of impala slowly wandered towards them, and sure enough, underneath the same tree that he was sitting in. I'm amazed at how the impala don't seem to to see him or, or smell him. It's almost like because he's elevated, their scent seems to waft above the impala. He watched them carefully as they moved around before getting himself into a position where he thought he might have an opportunity. The impala scattered and snorted and watched him as he got up and moved off. He's incredibly thin, um, not in very good condition, no stomach on him at all, and clearly very hungry. Heading away just to find another perfect spot to to try and kill something. 